Warning, this audio or video may contain explicit language or extreme views. Discretion is advised. Because <laughs> that's just the way we roll. You know, you got to have a behind the scenes thing. Yeah, be like, yeah, let, me, let me adjust my nipples. All right, everybody, we are back. <laughs> Episode two. We know you missed us. It was only like 20 fucking minutes, but you missed us. Because that's how it usually goes. Beautiful. And we're broadcasting live from the dungeon, Brooklyn, New York. We have a sisalem in the middle. Hi Crow. guys. Cut off on the other side. What's going on, guys? Even though Alan, I, you guys didn't hear the thingy on, but it's okay. Don't, don't forget to move your mic though, because you know people complain that they didn't hear us earlier. Yeah, they didn't hear us earlier. I, I mean, how loud do I have to talk? You have to talk enough. Like this. I mean, I talk really? loud as it is. But I, I'm, I think my you mic, just went deaf. You can't even see my mic. <laughs> On the camera, and it's fucking loud. You're like fucking Nathan happen. Explosion. Holy shit. More complaints, grievances, and now the news. The oh, news. <laughs> yes, because we have to have the news. You know. Play the theme song, play the theme song, play the theme song. I don't have a theme song. You gotta have a theme song for the news. Just think of something. Oh, uh, you want me to get a theme song for the news? Yes. Oh, shit. You have to, of course. Well, you should have told me this while we were off the air. I would have been searching it up on Zedg. Shout out to Zedge, Zedge by the way. Oh, the, yeah, uh, yes, yes. Good stuff. Because for the uh, sound bites for our show, I've got my scorpion, uh, my, my scorpion notification off of there. Did you really? Yeah. He goes, get over here. You know when I, when somebody texts me. All and right. So we're all here. Hi, people. More What's going on, interest. everybody? Hello. How you doing? Yeah, actually, I can literally cannot tell you. You asked me to do this. Yeah, man. Yo, you got listen. Whatever the first one it is, it is. That's 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 how it's gonna go, though. Fuck it. Do whatever you want. You gotta have an introduction for the new for like the news, cause you know you gotta make it explosive like a cheesecake. For that matter, I could just do, do it as a fart. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. we're waiting for a theme song. Is that what we're doing? That's what we're doing right now. Yeah, I mean, everybody really like. Everybody's like, oh, we, you, now you have to have a new stuff. That completely you know? came to a stall right now. Should I just Holy like play shit. some play some metal? Or... I have no idea what the what fuck the that is. What the hell was that? That's actually cool. Yo, that's <laughs> and now the news. <laughs> You're on the pipe bomb. Yo, I'm back. What up, bitches? What's up? Oh, what's up? <laughs> oh, what do you believe this shit? They want me to fucking find a new sound? Yeah, you gotta find a new. Uh, listen, I'm telling you that that other sound you just had with the it sounds it sounds it sounds like, like somebody dropping a shit in a bucket of water. It sounds like somebody's just nutting. Nothing. I shit in buckets all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I used on buckets in the engine room, Melissa. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yo, that's, yo, that's good. That one is actually pretty good. Nah, I don't that one. I can't believe I'm fucking looking for this. There you go. That, that'll that be the sound for all our new news shit. You right, have a new mail. That's kind of gay, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of gay shit that happens on this <laughs> damn show, for Christ's sakes. Like freaking Jimmy rub rub his nipples. Look like, what the hell's wrong with you, Jimmy? Why? Jeez. Well, it's Christ. certainly not going to be about shitting in buckets. I can tell you that much. Hairy well, nipples. Because I can't shit in buckets either. But no. What happened? I thought you were going out to shoot some guns and stuff. I did. It got dark. That was it. You didn't bring a flashlight. Get some tracer bullets. Well, yeah, I mean, I got flashlights and all that shit, but I only really had, I actually went to go put um, some uh, some porn down here, season on Tuesday, so I'm feeding those fuckers so I can shoot them. I thought he said porn. I'm like, what? I thought he said porn. For real, I thought he said porn. I'm like, I'm like, I look, I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, that's how we roll down here, bitches. Everybody... <laughs> well, listen, there's nothing better than porn during holiday dinner. Yes. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It, oh, it'd be a, it'd be a great coming it'd be a great coming attraction. Well, I have a video. <laughs> While Oliver is on the phone, I mean, I can't show Oliver the video. I'll I'll send it to him later. Okay, you have to watch it on the screen. All right. Okay. Okay. Now this video, I found kind of fucked up. All right. It's called Got Milk, 
and to our viewers, oh, it's a woman in an office. She's dressed in this scantily clad outfit. Mm -hmm. All right, so she takes a half gallon of milk out of the fridge and proceeds to nice, add nice ass tit milk to the half gallon of yeah milk. yeah yeah i seen that video um she'd be killed for that <laughs> not, not for, for anything that. i mean i mean but i mean but she had to get banged out first then killed for that and she had nice boobs yeah but also. that's kind of fucking offensive though like mm -hmm. how do you know your coworkers are not drinking that milk that's the point i think it, it, exactly <laughs> Listen, we talked about it last week about uh, tit milk, and it got it got raunchy real fast. Yeah, yeah, I, I had uh, the story about the chick that I banged out at you know at a certain area. <clears throat> you can accidentally fucking drink tit milk because it's in a bottle in the in the refrigerator. You know, it's a different story. Unbelievable. But oh, I mean, straight from the tap, it's a little warm, but <laughs> it's a <sighs> I'm, I'm glad I have not experienced that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, man. I mean, you get me twice as pregnant. You forget. And, uh, and you're sucking on them boobs. Yeah. Be like, what the fuck? Like, I, I mean, I, I, I've actually, that's like I said, like, like last week, I've actually, like I said, you know, sucked on some boobs. And uh, <clears throat> sad thing about it was she had, she had fake, there were fake titties and she's still lactating. That was just not cool. No. Oh, that was not cool. We gotta move on. Huh? We gotta move on. Oh, we gotta move on? Okay. Yeah. You okay. got anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. there's plenty. There is plenty. Oh, yeah. Let's let's check this. This one here, oh, okay. I, I, I guarantee you, uh, again, I'll send this one to you too, Oliver. Now, this is a workout video. Okay? Oh, Lord. Uh -huh. This is going um, to be a, uh, um, uh, it, a train wreck. It is, a, it is oh. a train wreck. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. Nice. It's nice called idea. supermarket workout. Okay. What the fuck? She's doing lunges, lunges with, with two chi chickens. chickens. I mean, in the middle of the supermarket. Interesting. Then she's doing squats with bottles of water, the cases of water. Okay. If I saw this woman in the supermarket, I get her phone I'd number. I'd be freaking the fuck out. I get her phone number and be like, "You want you want to come over and do something else? You you, you want to get a real you, you want to get a real workout?" I definitely would not buy that bottle, that that case of Canada. Dry. I wouldn't neither. You know? <laughs> I wouldn't she either. Like she's humping the, the Canada Dry, and then now she's doing these back lifts with a DiGiorno pizza. That's. It, I mean, come on. She's stupid. How, how do you fucking? Are you gonna buy that fucking bunch of bananas? She'll probably use that for you know. Anything. No. Have you ever heard of being on a budget? She can't afford it. Leave her alone. Go home. I mean, yeah. Let me... um, she's she's literally assaulting that asparagus. No, she put she put it in in her ass asparagus. What the fuck is wrong with people? Did you just say he put it? She put it in her ass crack? No, she <laughs> no she no, no, she no, just put it in her in, in her in her ass asparagus as well. With the asparagus. Yeah, she need to stretch something else for the asparagus. Let me tell you, anyway, these people are fucking insane. They really are. Interesting. Hey, listen, you you grow up in New York. You live in New York. You see all that shit. No, nah, no, nah, but no, I don't think this, 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 this was in New York though. Um, because this. Super market was way too clean yeah <laughs> it was way too nice to be yeah. from here <laughs> i mean actually there that's that's what mark is in york actually this video however i will raise the volume for always it, it is needed to be heard on this and i think oliver is probably I, I i can't watch i can't watch the facebook because you know like i said i'm in the middle of the country i'm driving this fucking shitty ass connection so i gotta call him did you hit a raccoon yet That shit will fuck your car up. That'll fuck your car up completely. Oh man, that that bitch bounced off and took off. I was kind of what the fuck? Better, but whatever. <laughs> All right, yes, kind of banged up my panel. All right, so this happened. Really? This really? particular. Mm -hmm. oh, All right. God. Now I have the audio for this, so you don't have to worry about the video part. It's entitled "The Stupid Ass Lady Needs to Move Back to Wherever She Came From." Mm-hmm. 
What train is this again? I don't know. This is like the L train or the two train. Yes. yes. That is either that is either the Q train or the or the N train. Yeah. yeah. One of those hipster bitches that fucking. Yeah. yeah. This is a this is a like this is the N train or the Q train. Is it Queensboro Plaza? It's right there. A fucking woman standing there doing absolutely nothing, but fucking going online to her social media. And this fucking moron is cursing her out. Yeah, she sounded really nice. You know what? Just show your titties and shut up. That's all. That's all. Just, just, just show your titties. Make us so happy. Get the fuck out of here. This woman's like fucking 800 years old. Yeah, I know, I know. That's the thing, because you know why we show titties? We give her two thumbs down, four thumbs down. The milk's gone bad, bitches. <laughs> yeah, I did get you too. Shut the fuck up, bitch, and get the fuck off the train. You're ruining my trip. Megalomaniacal. I feel bad for them. I genuinely do. You know oh, Billy Bradshaw said, what's up? Of course. Absolutely. Well, there have been plenty of times, and I can say this because this is what we do for research for the show, is that... Knock a motherfucker out. There, there are times that there are fucking so many people, like the, the well, what we crown on the show is the millennials, um, that disrespect the older people, and they get their fucking shit kicked out of them. Hmm. Like, I, I you know, love it. But you don't go up to somebody that you can see is obviously worked like a fucking 10 hour day. He's fucking covered in dirt, cement, oil, whatever. Hey, leave him alone. You don't go up to somebody and disrespect them like that. Absolutely. They're going to fucking kick your ass. Especially to their work construction. Just because they don't want to deal with it. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's I saw it. We, we did, a, we did a, uh, an article on a guy. He was 63 years old, construction worker. Um, he, some 19 year old came up, tried to punk him out. Oh yeah. And he, and the, and the, and the, and the dude, the dude fucked up that. that dude on the bus? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that video. <laughs> those, those are the videos that are like totally set everything off. Mm. You, you know, you know, which one that, you know, which one that I really love and, and it's sad to say, mm. I love watching these retards that protest in the middle of the highways that get put. On the what? Yeah, you, you, you watch the, all these liberals that protest in the middle of the highway. Oh yes, run over. I know. I like and those too. <laughs> we we have a welcome to an Amberine. Oh, that's my that that's that's my friend. She she lives in Wisconsin. Her and uh, Sonia Mead. She lives. You know, she's also in Brooklyn. They're, they're both from my page. They're you know since I basically shared the video, they see me. So, hello, ladies. Well, what's going on? Hello, ladies. Th thank you. Thank you for joining. Billy's you know, mad at you because you never made his cake. What cake? That's his complaint for his birthday, probably. You're in Florida. How am I going to get a cake to Florida? Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I probably never got a fucking cake. Um, oh, here, here goes another complaint. There we go. This is what we were looking for earlier. Complain away. Are you here? How am I going to get it to you? Hey, what, do you what, what, what do you mean, am I here? Dude, honestly, if you were like, yo, I'm going to make you a cake, send me money so I can ship it to you, I fucking send you money. I don't think I could, send, I don't think I could ship a cake. Why can't you fucking ship a cake? Are you kidding me? I don't think I can. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what a condition it would be in by the time it got to you. I could ship you cookies. Uh, I should be fucking cookies. <laughs> <laughs> cookies do sound kind of good right now. I feel some chocolate chip myself right now. I can ship cookies. You know, I, you know what? You know, you know, I'm here to talk about all this cake and pastry stuff like that. I mean, I want to try one of your cookies now. The eating kind. Not you know, not, I have another complaint <laughs> now. Okay, because our executive producer here promised us in two weeks, which would be today, when we didn't shoot the episode, we were going to have snacks. 
I understand that, but I also wanted Jimmy and Helen to be here, and they're not here. So how can I bring snacks for everyone? So they right missed here? out because they went on vacation. So where's the snack? I didn't bring snacks. You okay. know what? You know what? Look, look. You know what? <laughs> okay. That's it. I'm gonna go get the gummy worms off the stairs. That's it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I need a snack. Sorry. I have chips in my bag. You want them? Uh. Billy, Billy Bradshaw is talking about White Castles right now. Oh, jeez. Yo, that oh, sounds man. really good. Yo, Billy. Yeah. Yes, sir. White I, Castles. All right, so same thing, Bill. I don't think I can mail a cake. I really just don't think I can mail one. I don't know if it would ever make it I to fuck up a crave case. We can mail White Castles because we eat them before yeah, they get definitely I, I can fuck up, them, a, I can fuck up a crave case right about now. Crave case sound pretty good. You can get, get it right about now. now. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Fight White Castles, hell yeah. I like the frozen one. I'd be... <laughs> Yo, that's hardcore. That's fucking hardcore. Oh, man. That is hardcore, man. That's kind of messed up. We'll have to figure something out, but I'll definitely make cookies. Those I could do. That White Castle bit, I I, I, I just got a little craving. You guys want to go to White Castle? Yeah, after? I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, uh, you see, Shibu. you gotta you gotta go to the stores yeah, and get that, man. Down there. Crystals. Yeah, it's like the fucking it's like the ghetto White Castle. Oh man, you have seafood down there, really dope. They got some good stuff down there. Like the scary thing is, he's missing out on all my barbecue. Like, there's no good pizza. And there's no good bagels. No. no. Oh, actually, I found a bagel store. Um, <sighs> and the guy is Israeli from Brooklyn. Um, the only problem is it's fucking plain bagels, like two fifty. And I mean, you gotta take out a fucking mortgage to get any teeth on it. <laughs> you know? The fuck? That's why you gotta. That's why you gotta buy your own bagels. Fuck that shit. We have some choice comments in the room. What up? Um. Steven has a complaint. Why are both baseball teams charging $5 more on game day tickets? Um, Amberine said, make the cake out of cardboard. <laughs> um, my cousin Richie said, send him a pound cake. Yeah, I could do that. And Billy Bradshaw's, Billy Bradshaw's girlfriend is not happy about the White Castle. Oh, wait. He also said he'll be up, for an, he'll be up next year for a week. Next year? All Let's right, so, another full so freaking months. let me know next year when you're here, and I'll make you a damn cake. Like White Castle's awesome. I love White Castles. Even though basically it'll make you shit so like Enzo crazy. Enzo said make a cake for everyone. Enzo, if you find your way here, that will be the week I'll make a cake. Well, if we ever do this meet and greet, and we have all the lovely viewers that want to come and hang out. You did talk about uh, you know, Labor Day weekend. We, we did talk about that. We and stuff. You did, of real food. You, you did talk about Labor Day weekend with the Sunday, because I'm off that day as well. I can, I can come down here. We gotta figure guys. out a place that we can have a, a meet and greet type deal. Yes, we, 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 even if it's at a bar, I think we could do a bar. Fuck Burger King. Fuck that shit. This is Burger King. No! What are you fucking. That's retarded. I've that seen would a, be like me fucking taking my first date out to fucking like Taco Bell. I would. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Fuck that shit. No, we didn't do Taco Bell the first date, so we're gonna go there. I said Christy skydiving car first date. What did I tell you? <laughs> She just told. I she just. She, she just. She just told me that earlier. I'm like, that's hardcore. <laughs> my Aunt Elaine is on. So Hi, Aunt Elaine. Hello. How are you? So, yeah, no. Um, yeah, we can't compete with the skydiving stuff. But I also don't know that I would go skydiving. How about get chased by a rhino and shit Come like that on. during the day? Uh, love our date, honey. I, would be I think I'd fall thing slightly thing faster thing. than you. Oh, the running of the bulls. The running of the bulls. I wouldn't fuck with that. <laughs> We know, right, so we know you would. Next year, then we got a tag team <laughs> I mean, I could use my once a month speed and running away from bulls. You know what's crazy now? If it's all my bulls, I feel for a steak now. Lord, I'm really. Right. Yes, I feel for a steak. <laughs> but that should happen though. Just avoid I, I the horns. I feel for a steak right now. I, I, would, I would be one of those assholes that gets like about a quarter of the way through and jumps the fence, and then laughs at everybody else that's running past me. And 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 that one bull start me in the front. And that and that and that and that one bull miraculously just come out of nowhere, look at you, be like, "Oh, you think you're gonna outrun me, huh?" Yeah, I'm gonna crash through the fence and get your fucking ass with my point. That's it. Just start running with the. Like I said, man, I just fell for a snake. I mean, a steak, a steak, a snake, a steak. You have a new mail. A new mail. Thank you, bitch. 
Thank you, bitch. I knew, I knew you was go for. Oh, more, more, more videos. More videos. You gonna show uh, us more videos? How about with the running with the dogs commercial? It was funny. I don't know if I've ever seen that commercial. I'll have to show it to you. Running with the dog. It's a uh, it's a Geico commercial, I think. Oh wow. Oh, you're gonna. Hey, have you ever seen the band Skittles commercial? Yes. Oh my god, that Which is one? fucking Which one? hilarious. Which one? Which one? They made a they made a Super Bowl commercial with Skittles. Mm-hmm. And instead of the girl coming, she's shooting out Skittles. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the, the one where he's banging his wife. Oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the wedding, the wedding one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one. They're both disgusting. <laughs> Taste take my greatness. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, he look like he's catching a fucking seizure. He's like... <laughs> he's like <laughs> I'm like... Oh, man. With his fucking uh, leopard underwear. What the fuck, man? <laughs> All right, so... so his, his, wife, his wife was hot, dying a lot. Oliver, we're going to hire you for this prison. Uh, this in from Salon.com. Private prison demands New Mexico and feds find 300 or more prisoners in 60 days, or it's going to close. Holy shit! So we're going to hire we're going to hire Oliver to find prisoners for this prison. Holy shit! That's that's scary. <laughs> that prison closed down. And what's going to happen? What are they going to put? What are they going to put the inmates at? Another another fucking prison? Yeah, break. But there's not. But there's not enough inmates to maintain the prison, is what they're trying to say. Who gives a shit? We're all we're the highest, we're the highest incarceration per capita in fucking any country. Are you kidding me? It's a business. Let them close. It is a business. A lot, and and, 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 and there's a lot of celebrities who actually support uh, the, the, the prison. Like, like it's like you know, Michael Jordan. Come to find out, he invests his money on prisons. Everybody, well, he, he can't by the Marlins. Yeah, he'll do that. See everybody. See everybody. Everybody wants to. Uh, Nick is on. Everybody wants to basically uh, buy Jordans, but fail to realize you're basically not, buying. Man. You're basically buying yourself into prison. You yeah, but wait, Michael Jordan bought into prison. No, 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 no. no Michael Jordan. Uh, he, he invests his money in prisons, and in, in, like like jail yeah. in the jail system. Yeah. Because I mean, think about it. The jail system is actually the biggest. Biggest money making business, if, if anything. What did she say? Oh, yeah. Um, a- Amberine said to, uh, about Nick's comment, the sky, which is something I would normally would say. What did Aunt Lainey say? Aunt Lainey said, New Mexico, that should be easy. A lot of illegals come through New Mexico. Yeah, but I'm gonna I don't not, know. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep silent on that one. Just, I'm not even reading the article because I don't I don't wanna sh- I don't wanna say illegal because like I'm gonna be honest with you. See this is the problem with people nowadays when they talk about somebody's illegal. First of all, you, there's a reason why it's called the United States because basically everybody in this in this country are some type of ethnicity. If you call somebody illegal, how are they illegal? It makes no sense. Well, like those are the ones that you know. I know. I know. I know. I, I know I, that. I normally don't say anything like this, but I guarantee you, it's probably coming out anyway. You know, our president. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Okay, Wanted to build this wall because you want other people from I know, the I know. border to come into the country. And the thing about it is, what's, what's so stupid is that first of all, okay, to build a wall in Mexico. Number one, I love Mexican food. I've been to Mexico. I love the I love the tequila. So why in the fuck would you basically keep people out who basically make some good ass food? And and to be honest, they are hardworking people. They're very hardworking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, they're hardworking. You what? know. It's not that it, it, and then and then to top it all, but it's also too. I, I look at it like this. It's like the story of the rat catcher. The rat catcher basically, you know, will have a pet rat and kill the other rats, and that and, and that one dumb rat's gonna think, oh, he's not gonna kill me. He got me as a pet. No more, right? He's gonna kill you too. So basically, they go for the Mexicans and go for other Latins, which is kind of sad, and and it's it it it's, it, it kind of hurts. It really really hurt. Well, I, either way, well, I don't know. If times have changed or not, but you know, I guess when you have immigrants coming off the boat, they have to be here for a little while first before they can get their legalization so we, card. So we should question Ivana Trump then. I don't know. I don't like that bitch anyway. I think she's like uh, plastic, but but the point of it being is I'm a Barbie like, girl. I guess <laughs> because they're not coming through properly is why they call them illegals. Yeah, I know. I you know. know. They, they, Use the prop channels. Yeah, I know. I I I see where you're coming from with that. I mean, I know. I understand. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I'm just playing. 
I don't want to say devil's advocate, but I'm just basically, you know, just trying to play the fool now to well, see what devil's everybody. Devil's advocate was a really great movie. Yes, it was. Al Pacino but, was great as the devil. That doesn't prove that. <laughs> you know, but um, because um, we have the comments in here. Why I say that? Uh, we used to use New Mexico all the time. Then we were told we had to sign a release to visit there, releasing the government from any fault if we were killed or harmed. Wow, in New Mexico? Yeah, in Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah, New Mexico. What about Mexico? old Mexico? No, I'm joking. Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico. Because apparently there's a new one and an old one. So they, they, they have a New Mexico. I'm trying to figure out where the hell, you know what? Uh, in New Mexico, we have to find separate releases to go there? According to my Aunt Laney, who, who travels quite frequently, you do. You got to sign a release to get, it, to get into that state? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're saying that we got to basically get sign a release to get into that state or just... No, it's a release saying that if anything happens to you while you're in the state, that there's no liability. Oh, so basically... For example, so if you're from... Let's say you're from Miami. Okay. Right? Florida, yeah. And you're of Spanish descent or yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. background or whatever. Like me, basically. If you go to New Mexico mm -hmm. and they pick you up for some type of bullshit immigration shit, the United States is not, you know, liable, liable. for having them deport you. Wait, 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 wait. Or detain you. Wait, 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 wait. This is, wait, wait, this is New Mexico or... New Mex Mexico. What? Yeah. That, that's, wait. Because it, apparently New Mexico is the place where all, everybody does the border jumping, according to the Article 2. That's just the way that is. New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, California, yep. all over. Yeah, I mean... But apparently, just may, they maybe have that just that release form there. I don't know. My aunt lady's very on top of all these. That's things, crazy. So I, I, I kind of have to. Uh, that's fucking crazy, man. That's. No, oh, she, she travels. She travels a lot, especially west. Dude, that's crazy. So she knows all that stuff. Oh shit! Oh, 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 no, 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 no! All right. So, do you have do you have an article? Did an article just come in? I have an article. Let me just pull it up. You have a new mail. Okay. This woman is a German glamour model. I've heard of, I've heard of she her. She decided to, to tan herself up. That she wants to become a fully black woman. Ain't happening, sweetheart. So she started getting <laughs> no, it's it's not funny. She started getting I know who she is. That's um, um I, I forgot her name. Melanin, um, backwards. Melanin injections and extreme tanning. And she got about fifteen breast augmentation surgeries because she said Pamela Anderson is her inspiration for body. However, she wants to become a black woman. Well, first and foremost, sweetheart, you're gonna die eventually because the simple fact of you putting stuff that's not that's not uh, natural so, in your yeah, body. Wait, I'll show you a picture of her in a second. No, I know exactly. I know. I know exactly. I know well, exactly. No, I, want every, them, I want everybody else want to, to see it. Yeah, what, what, what was her name again? Um, I'll show it to you in a second. Okay, so this is what she looked like. And it make her look any better? Can you see? Can you see it? Oh, I can see it. Yeah, I, I, I see the, I see the black, the black, yeah, the, you gotta, you gotta get, get, get she the light. She was white, and now she is black. She looks like a fucking plant fucking menagerie. Yeah. That's what she looks like. She looks terrible. So looks she horrible. said she loved the Baywatch portion of Pamela Anderson's career, and that's what she was trying to model her body off of. Well, first of all, Pamela Anderson was not very i mean she was attractive yes but like but that's her i know that, that her that's her version right, of... I, have to, I have to complain to a comment sure uh, go ahead uh john black says first off howdy fucking fuckers howdy um amberine says that she's seen the app this absolutely repulsive bitch yeah she is repulsive and john i am not drinking the red bull shit okay let's let, let's 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 do a comparison red bull red bull tiny and... can Monster, monster, bigger can, and actually, monster is more stronger than Red Bull, to be honest. And it don't do fucking half the crap that they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that Red it Bull is good, and it helps me focus. Red Bull, I'm not gonna lie to you. They uh, like I had a count off the of, of that that type of monster because my 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 blood pressure. So that's why I try to get the variety of monster. You know, the juices, yeah. whatever, like Variety's that. The spice of life. Oh no, of course. Oh yeah, like this one is um Mango Loco, which it has the Day of the Dead, a bunch of skeleton and stuff like that. Okay, so yes, most I have another article. What was that movie that we were... Annabelle? Annabelle. Okay, so if you know me, you know that I'm not a fan of scary movies. 
of at all. At but, all. Which, which like, An- I hate them. They freak me out. Which, I get nightmares. I just don't like them. Which Annabelle was actually a true a true story. Okay, so so okay, so there's this article, and it says a possessed doll sold on eBay is now attacking its new owner. What the fuck? Okay, so there's this creepy, creepy wedding doll. Nah, man. Nah, okay. man. Nah, man. Nah. Okay. So she's creepy. I'm sorry. She's creepy. And Yo, Olive, Olive, if you if you seen that doll, man, you you'd be. Okay, so. No, 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 no. No. Like a wedding, it's a wedding doll. It's like a it's like a porcelain doll. Okay, so it says the doll hit headlines. A few weeks ago, after its owner Debbie Merrick said the item had become had begun attacking her husband, scratching him at night, as well as setting off fire alarms and taking off its necklace. What's some dick? Poor <laughs> Debbie and hubby Cameron, both fifty, had to lock the doll in the shed after its nighttime antics. Even that wasn't enough, and she ended up putting the creepy bugger on eBay. Okay, so some guy paid money to buy this doll. So now. He is claiming that he's also getting scratches in the middle of the night since they brought this doll into the house. You know something with that? <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm a, you know, when I used to be at gym, you know, I used to hang out with Jim, whatever, like that, like years ago in our 20s. His mom had a whole bunch of dolls in the house. Creepy. She still does. Yo, that shit is creepy. <laughs> I don't no, like, no. See, I can't. No, I'm dead ass. Creepy. Like, that's why I, I, just I can't, can't do that. I couldn't undo it. I couldn't. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, like okay. dolls. Like, yeah. like, like you know, like those type of dolls scare me. And also, um, like the ventriloquist dummies. Like ever since I watched Dead Silence, no, you know. like dolls. Like that's why I don't have dolls. Like I got action figures in my house, like Nightwing and Batman. But you know, I mean, I wasn't afraid of that. But okay, so th- this is a very monumental comment. I came up. My aunt Lainey is on top of the game tonight. What'd she say? She's been MIA. I understand that. So, what's up? Her comment is as follows mm-hmm. Annabelle is true to a point. Mm-hmm. I do investigations and friends with a lot of people in the field. Just remember the movie has to be really scary. Yeah, because the, because the, because the, because the real doll was actually a, a giant Raggedy Ann doll, you know, you know, and the Warrens had that locked up. Also, there's also Robert. The um Robert the doll too. That's in Florida, where um you try to take pictures of it. It I think it doesn't come out or her, she, some shit like that. They talked about it was kind of creepy, you know. But um but as far as like the Annabelle doll, that, it was because in the movie they showed like a a porcelain doll, but the real doll was actually a giant. It was a giant Raggedy Ann doll. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You poor soul. But, but these people, they just, they, they just said since they brought the doll in the house, they said they noticed a lot of weird things going on, including flickering lights, weird noises, and stuff getting broken. So they started. They did a live stream so people could watch it, and thirty-five thousand people watched it. And it started moving. And right? said that they could see the doll's eyes moving. Yeah, you know what? I've seen some videos also where they show like. I don't know. I I would freaking burn it. I'm sorry. It would be gone. No, I don't think I actually. Could, I I don't want one. I've seen videos. You know, I've seen videos of of like dolls like moving and shit like that. I would thought it was bullshit, but the dolls like really. Oh, yo, like I'm I'm so I'm fuck with dolls, man. <laughs> I got I got action figures in my house of Batman and Nightwing and Le- little Lego Batman and little Lego Nightwing. Also, I love you know that's my. Well, n- not for anything though. Uh, I will say I've always wanted my own Chucky doll. We, I, my grandmother has one, but the funny thing but about you know it is, what, though? like I, I used to fuck with my sister all the time. That's fucked up, man. I would scream out, "Hi, I'm Chucky. I want to play." And as I'm running down the hallway, or I would open my door, scream it down the hallway. That's fucked up. But I always wanted one of those. That is fucked because up because they're very creepy. They are very creepy. The good guy dolls. The good guy dolls. Hi, I'm Chucky. But play. they they also now make demented ones that are all cut off and and you know Dude, like the actual Chucky figure. Un unreal, man. I would love one of those. I don't know. More videos. More videos. More videos. Okay, so. Oh, you got to you got to show a specific one now. You got to you got to unleash that one. Okay. Yeah, because uh, you, um, you you you've had that one waiting for me brewing the longest. Yes. And I need to basically uh. Give my insights on it. Okay, I'm not gonna. Your friend said she's not gonna sleep tonight now because of the doll. That should be all right. I'll, I'll just send her a picture really of me. This, uh... Oh no, wait a minute. I can't do that. She's married. Sorry, Amber. I can't do that. I gotta see if I can find this now. Just, just, but just put the dolls in the closet. John Black said, contrary to what my wife may say, I'm dressing my son up as Chucky this year. 
You rock, John. I'm so totally. <laughs> you rock, John. You rock. I'm sure Vicky would Dude, love you rock. that. You rock. Yo. I so man. totally would do that. That'd be hilarious, too. That'd be fucking funny. John, I want to be there when you do that, man. Yo, yo, put yo put the pic yo put that on Facebook, man. You gotta show me that picture. That that'd be I so think cool. Halloween's a Tuesday this year. Oh wow, interesting. You know what's funny? Halloween is not what it used to be like years ago anymore. Halloween now is just so bland. Like it's just it's not, it's not like and it, there's no excitement anymore. Just like Christmas, depending on I don't really celebrate Christmas like that. But Halloween is like not it's not what it used to be. Now they got the parade and the parade is a piece of shit too. Okay, I can actually tell you, I do not have the video. Oh my god. All right, let me see if I can see, find it. You, okay, the producer's gonna find it. Anything oh my god! She said, "Oh my god." <laughs> that video is just that one. I've really seen that video, hard. man. I'm like, oh my god. Now those are dragging titties, not not dragon dragon titties. They were dragging titties. Oh, Jesus the nipples basically were just. Uh, 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 right, uh, so in the meantime, um, this one here is a parental video. What? A parental. No, not you. No, no, no. Amber, wait, wait, wait. You know what? Amber, you got to hit me up on the uh, instant on the messenger. messenger. Yeah, about about what you just told me. All right. So, so this one here, I found this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I found it because we have a lot of spoiled motherfuckers in this country. Oh. Of all ages. Okay. Hmm. It's just not. Don't let me get we're, stuck We're just in. not talking about little kids. We're talking about teenagers. Oh, There's some adults that are extremely spoiled because oh, just excuse me, on and gentlemen, lady. All right, so I'm gonna pull it up on here. All right, this is the video. I'll raise the volume again. All right, I don't know if everybody can hear the kids screaming. I hear the kids screaming. Now, mind you, the father is, is in the parking lot with the kid. You know what's funny? I would actually do that. Because, I mean, little, this is right here. Okay. Did the right thing. I would do the same thing, too. We don't got to beat her ass. Just bring her right outside. What? See, when you spoil the hell out of your kids, this is what happens. Yep. And see, that's our fault for being raised together. Kids will never have anything. See, people don't know how to tell their kids no, even though they lost That's right, yeah. He's right. I don't care if you grew up with a different spoon in your mouth. Don't put one in your child's mouth because this is what happens. He's right. And when you have to be stern, they don't like it because they spoil. This is what they act mm -hmm. like. Mm-hmm. kids during the Walmart. Not okay with them not stopping the activities. So we can be bored out here in this lovely old parking lot until Miss Iron Reese wants to stop screaming your head off. Mm-hmm. He did the right well, thing, even though I wouldn't put it on social media, but he did the right thing. He did the right thing. I mean, it's better than being the point. The point of the video, I'll, I'm, I'm not going to play it all the way through because it's a pretty decently long video. Okay. No, you, you got kids he nowadays. not have the greatest upbringing yeah. in his life. We, we all didn't. A, a lot of us no, didn't. In him, he was one of the underprivileged. Right, 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 okay? right, right, the right. Poor, the poor neighborhood, the, the poor parents. No, of course. You know, the ones that work three jobs just to pay their rent and get yeah. groceries and shit. And basically in the video, he's saying, I didn't grow up this way. Like, I did not have the ability to be given the things that I've wanted, like I see in stores, etc. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, he started to give his kids the things that he couldn't have when he was younger. The problem is that once you start doing that, the kid feels, oh, I can get anything I want. There, there's Why? no value. Daddy and mommy are going to buy it for me. There's no value. The, the, the kid doesn't value what they get. You're right. You know, I, I, you know it's funny. I tell my son that too. Like, to his mom, he's always buying him a whole bunch of expensive stuff. And I'm like, listen, you need to you need to chill with that because what's gonna happen is he's not gonna value anything. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you gotta you gotta have the value, you gotta have the value of, of certain things. So it's it's crazy. But it's just don't No, they don't. They don't know. But, and the, and this is this is one of the things that I like I see that especially like when I'm out, like 
you see these kids and they're crying and they're screaming, Uh-oh. mommy, buy me this, mommy, buy me that. Listen, when I grew up, I only got things if I achieved something or if I did, so, if, I, if I behaved well or. Mike, I agree with you 100%. It's, it's the fucking, it's, it's the same deal though. Like you shouldn't just be given something. You should have something that you've achieved, you earned or something like that. Right, exactly, exactly. I mean, a lot of a lot of families don't have that ability to have the the the, the money to spend on things like that. Oh man! So that was one of the videos that that like it kind of hit me real hard because like no, nah, I mean you exactly. see it all the time. Exactly, not. I mean, listen, I always see it. You know, I've seen it a lot, and and you know, kids nowadays, millennials, they don't understand the value of certain things you know like me i mean i'm not gonna lie i was a spoiled when i was young too but see also i realized that humility and you know you got to work for what you got to get you know what i'm saying it, it, it's crazy oh, it's cr- crazy the comments now yep no that's not true john you're such a <laughs> i got plenty of stuff when i was a kid Aw, oh, because he was a good boy. Because I didn't fucking hang out on the streets <laughs> and fucking rape people. I didn't kill people. I didn't beat up people. So you should be rewarded for not raping someone? Listen, not, not for anything, though. I'm not a wow. product of the streets. No, it's no, serious. It's not. No, I'm I mean, not a product I of the streets. Mean. I mean, I, I mean, act that way sometimes mean. because that's the people that I hung out with. But not necessarily did I fucking do anything wrong where I got fucking arrested. Neither did I. I mean, that's just the way it is. I got good grades. I got video games. I did well at baseball. I got trophies. I got taken out to lunch. Dinner, I mean, I mean, you know what's so funny? Cream, you know what's so like funny? That. Let me tell you something. I grew up in the hood. I grew up in Brownsville, Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? But I never, honestly, I wasn't the type of kid that ran the streets or anything like that. I was mostly in the house, mostly, you know, by myself, whatever. You know, and it, it's crazy. You know, a lot of us, you know, in the neighborhoods like that, we were underprivileged, whatever like that. You know, we, we, you know, my grandmother, you know, raised me, whatever like that. You know, she didn't have much herself, but, you know, she did what she had to do. She learned, teach me how to save and budget, stuff like that. But, you know, people, they said they, they don't, they don't value, like the kids nowadays, again, they don't value anything. They don't value anything. And, and it's fucked up. Terrible. It's just, I don't know. It's a very controversial topic. It is, it is. Because but, everybody, especially the most, everybody's all had a different bringing up. Everybody has a different upbringing. It, it's the truth. Absolutely. Like, you know what I mean? When I was, when, you know, when I was a kid, my parents busted their asses, but we went on vacation almost every summer. But they worked their asses off the whole year long. Okay. So he watched for the you entire know? time. So. But I mean, in, I mean, in all fairness, I'm, I'm a single parent and I, I'm guilty of, overcompensating a lot for for my daughter because I feel like she didn't have a dad around and like you know like there's times like if he doesn't come through with something which is 99% of the time I will go out and spend extra money just to you know to pick her up for the day or to go and do stuff and you can't always do that either but as a kid you know like even on just my money if we went to the dollar store, she got a coloring book and she was thrilled with it. I didn't have to take it to Toys R Us every single time she did something good. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, she was just as happy sitting down, like, doing stuff with me. Right, right, right. Instead right, of going right. out and having to buy us something every time. No, that, that, that's a good thing. Like, like my son, you know, I take him out. Like, see, my son knows that I don't have much myself. You know, I'm paying bills I'm by myself. You know, he lives with his mom. But it's like he values the fact that I, I'm there. I'm always there for him. You know what I'm saying? He spoiled it sometimes, though, but you're somebody, listen, yo, a lot of things I cannot get for you. No, it's you know, the, I mean, it's the truth, and I work very hard to get my daughter what she wants. No, very, very hard. No, like, course, I, sometimes I take on way too much, you know, much more than I should. Right, right, just right. Just to make right. sure that I have money to do what she wants to get done. No, it's understandable. It's totally, you know what I'm saying? Totally understandable. So, you know. So we have more comments. Uh, eight kids, no dad. I had to work to support the family. Nine years old, I cleaned houses for money. Mm. We all had to eat. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's the truth. Just, you know, you know, so funny. You know, so crazy though. Now I'm noticing like nowadays it's a little bit more harder. Ooh, sorry, a little bit more harder than it, it was like back then. I mean, I know, I know back then our parents, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they went through hell. But now it's we actually feeling it, and it's gotten worse because the cost of living 
as you said earlier in the other show, it's very high, and it's just, it's it's, it's ridiculous, man. It's it's crazy. John Black also said the other day my son was arguing with something, uh, sitting across from him while he was eating his lunch. He finished the conversation by saying no, 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 and then got up and walked the fuck off. <laughs> Whoa, nah, my son wouldn't do that. My son, no, basically, though, if he, uh, if my, he my was, son would have been in his room sitting in the fucking corner. Let me tell you something. My son, it, it, listen, you know what's so funny? I'm five eight. My son is six two. Now, the funny thing about it is, everybody think, oh, your son go grow, grow you taller. I'm like, let me tell you, let me tell you guys something. Number one, my son has to basically beat my ass. I don't care how tall he, how tall he gets. I'll, I'll take him out regardless. You feel me? I brought you in this world. I, I'll take you out. Don't sit up there and talk about, you know, oh, he, you know, whatever, he, you know, he's taller than you and stuff like that. The moment, his, the moment he start, you know, popping off at the mouth, I'm going to pop off on him. You feel me? Because, he like, he tried to shit with his mother. So he do it was with his mother when I'm not around. You know, it, it, you know, him and his mom, you know, we're not together. But with me, he knows not to do it. He knows better. Because basically, he, know, he knows what I would do to him. Even at his school, when they try to, if, if they was to call me, he'll be scared. He'd be like, uh-oh, dad knows. You know, that's it. Plain and no, simple. John, I'm not confuzzled. I'm doing three things at once. <laughs> like I normally do every fucking week. Yeah. You gotta do audio. You gotta do freaking soundboard. You gotta keep eye on contacts and everything else. It's just one of your fucking mess. Okay, so I have one more, and this is I'm 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 aiming this at you men. All right, wait, wait, hold on. I have to play the tone now. Okay, play the tone. You have a new mail. Oh, Jesus there Christ. we go. It's a new mail. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to read this because I, as a woman, found this so ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sharing it with you guys because I can't see, as a girl, acting like this. Now, I know there are girls that do. But I can't. I can't even imagine this. Okay. Like, I, I would. I would want to be punched in the face if I acted like this. But you got. Let's it. just put it like this. We got. All right. Okay? So just to just to let you know, I know what this article is about, and I'm I'm just saying this ahead of time. For the male viewers that are watching this, just bear. Okay. Just bear because I've already. I've it already says guy shares on. insane list of relationship rules that he found in a used car. So in other words, he bought a used car and he found this list that a girl had wrote her boyfriend about rules that he should have to follow during their relationship. Okay? This be interesting. I'm, I'm sorry, um, but it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. You'll want to choke this bitch when you die. Okay? I'm not I want to choke her for, for you men. I want to choke her. I just farted. Okay? Too. The first one says, you are not to have a single girl's phone number. Okay? The next one, you are not to follow them on social media, including Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Hmm. Um, you are not to hang out with your friends more than two times a week. You are not to look at a single girl. If girls come up to you at any time or place, you are to walk away from them immediately. Okay, this is a great one. You are not to ask for head at any point. Sorry, I thought that one was quite amusing. You are not to get mad at me about a single thing ever. You are not allowed to. Oh. Okay, this is oh. great. Not allowed to get mad. We already have a comment. Wait, wait, wait. I choked the bitch. Okay, I want to. I'm telling you, I want to choke her for oh. everybody. You are not allowed to drink unless I'm with you. I am allowed to do a phone check whenever I please. So that means she wants to take this guy's phone and she wants to look at it whenever she feels like it. If we move in together, there will never be girls at our house. If we move in together, your friends will rarely be allowed to come over. If I catch girls around you, I'll kill you. You are not to ditch me for your friends. Your friends do not control when I get to hang out with you. We have to go on a legit date at least at once every two weeks. If I say jump, you have to say how high princess. Fucking idiot. <laughs> So, you are never to take longer than ten minutes to text me back ever. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I, that was my mind just now. <laughs> and the last one, you are to make sure you tell me you love me at least once a day, so I know that you're not messing around on me. Come on, See, don't bullshit me. Thank you. See, I'm a, this I'm a girl is out of heart. 
her fucking mom. I'm gonna tell you about I'm chicks. I'm a girl, and me, she's out me, of her fucking let mind. Let me tell you something. Chicks like that. Since you now, the part that that basically rose, rose. I mean, everything rose a red flag. But what even rose the biggest red flag was, you can't get mad at me for anything. So basically, if you were to happen to fuck another man, and I found out about it, I can't get mad at you. Oh, yeah, you yeah, are yeah, du- yeah, that's yeah, a, that's yeah, a double yeah. standard right there. First off, this is the way I see it. Okay, if you're dating this bitch, uh, I wouldn't even do you that. Might as well cut your dick off. You might as well cut your testicles off and become a woman. You're a simp. Because she has fucking totally cock-blocked you from having a life. Okay? Which you can't means see your friends. She wants her cake, and she can have it, too, at the same time, because she can fuck 50 other guys while you're fucking home doing nothing. Exactly. It's solid. She, wa- she wants to play the masculine role, but see, but see what's going to happen is a chick like that will stay single for the rest of her life. She will not be, she will not be wedded. She'll probably be a single mother. Who knows? But then again, but then again, maybe not. Maybe not. Know. Maybe I just, not. I, I doubt that. I just feel like the insecurity. Oh, that, that's just that. That list is pure insecurity, right there. Uh, uh, you can't absolutely. talk to anybody. You can't be near anybody. You can't hang out with your friends. Your friends can't hang. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just so many things. See, her problem is, like, as you said, insecurity. It is. It, it's this pure bitch, insecurity. That, that, that's just okay, not. Nah. So you we, know we, what? We can't do that. We gave it away the first episode. It makes its return. Absolutely. It's the turn of the week. She definitely made that fucking list. I'm she, sorry. She fucking... even wanted me to put her on the list, but I'd rather give her a turn. I don't know. She she definitely is. Dude, that, that's just. I'm I'm sorry, but I'm sorry that she we... she has to die. Actually, actually, you know what? A chick like that. She even present that rule to me. I'd be like, you know what? Your pussy ain't that good enough for me to even fucking submit to your dumb. First of all, men don't submit. We don't submit. That's not our nature. Um, Fuck out of here. Well, mm. let me correct you on that. We don't submit. Um, we don't submit. Uh, no, let me correct you on that. We don't submit. There is there is a political correctness coming up. There are men who are pussies who let people dominate them because they are something mentally fucked up. You know that's called, you know they're called simp's. They're called simps. That's what and, they're wrong. And that's not our nature. That's not our nature. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck who get who gets um offended. A man nature, we don't submit. That's not our nature. That's not our nature. What do you say? How could you know what I'm saying? God like, said I killed her ass, dumped her in a ditch, and then sold the car. Sold the car. <laughs> that's it's like, probably what happened, John. Like not even a joke. Because I know how John would be with that. You know. Yo, that's 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 crazy. I'm sorry, but John, we just turn around and say some of this. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. No, and no, and no. he'd be done. No, absolutely done. not. It's fucking nuts. To be honest, like I said, it's not worth killing her because at the end of the day, why why kill her off? Why basically waste your time killing the chick? Well, not for nothing. I don't want to be sitting there fucking watching this bitch suffer. Because she's going to find some fucking submissive asshole to oh, well. fucking follow this shit. You know what? But then again, enough you know, is enough. But you know what, though? And he's going to fucking cut her head but, but listen, you know, it, it, it looks, listen. Listen, sometimes you got to put people in the fire in order for you to basically have some type of peace. Peace of what? Peace. I said peace. Not P-I-E-C-E. P-E-A-C. Yeah, but I'm saying peace of what? Because that's not no peace. No, 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 no. It's like fucking going to solitary. (laughs) Shit. Yeah, it's it's solitary. Like I said, a a chick like that. You have a new mail. See, we got another one. What you got? What you got? What you got? All right, so... I can't find the one about that girl, by the way. I can't find it either. I'm I have no idea, and I typed it in every way I could possibly find it. Disappeared. It. I hate you guys. I'm, I, know, I was. Honest. I know. I teased you about it. It's okay. That's all right. All right. So this is for sports people. Stephen wanted a sports article. He's still here somewhere. I swear to God, I thought I was okay. a. I thought I thought I was titties just now. I'm like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Oh, I saw. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. So this article is from Bleacher Report. Okay. Bleacher Report. Yeah, that picture. <laughs> for, real, for real, for real. I'm, angle, t- I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm like, like, what I'm the like, hell what? is that? For it's real. Like two extremely large swollen testicles. All right, I got to, I got to turn the volume off. Let's pull up. We this, don't have a remote. What's the skydiving thing? It's a fucking ad. Oh, Jesus. You know, now everything on Google is an ad. The article is entitled, A Junior League Softball Team Disqualified from the World Series for Inappropriate Snapchat. Social media 
What did he show that show that swollen knuckles? Well, it was I like article, and then let everybody judge what it is. Where's Jim, man? God damn it, where's oh, Jim? Oh my god. And Jim's not even on right now, right? No, 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 no. no. Motherfucker. Okay, Steven, this is just for you. You're a baseball guy. The Junior League softball team from the LT area near Richmond, Virginia, has been disqualified from the 2017 Junior League World Series Championship game after an in- inappropriate photo was discovered on Snapchat. Wait, wait, wait. Are females or, are they females or males? Well, if it's Does softball, the softball, it's female? usually female. Because it's baseball for guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Per Michael Phillips and Paul Woody of the Richmond Times Dispatch, <laughs> Woody. six members of the Alti Junior League team were seen in a picture posted to the social media site, giving the middle finger with a caption that made it clear the gesture was intended for the Kirkland team. So they were giving the finger to the team that they were supposed to play, yeah. and they deemed it inappropriate and disqualified them. Yeah. Which has absolutely nothing to do with the game. Nothing. Yeah, but it's not sportsmanship either. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. I mean, if you want to use the sportsmanship issue, okay. Mm. Now, my team that's a tough call. is not a well liked team in football whatsoever. I love my team. I love how everybody trash talks my team, and they get shut up at the end of the day. It's the same fucking thing. Yankee fans get it all the time. We hate the Yankees. We this that the other thing. What do the Yankees do? They don't disqualify the other team. They don't protest against the other team. Nothing. They play the game. The game is played. What happens on the field happens on the field. What happens off the field is something totally different. That's true. You don't disqualify a team because six players wanted to be a bunch of douchebags. Hmm. I'm sorry. That's like that's happens like, in major league, major sports all over the place. That's like that's like that's like that's like basically like a. I'm just saying like somebody from the Yankees, you know, one of the one of the players. End up, you know, having sex with a whole bunch of different prostitutes, and you're gonna disqualify the whole team for a game like that makes no sense. Like, I mean, I see where you're coming from with that. You know, I, I, I kind of agree with you on that one. I see where you're coming from. You don't disqualify if you want to do anything. Disqualify but, I mean, six players. Then. But, but I mean, since it's a softball team, not a major league team. You know, wait, wait, is it for a school? They say or junior league, whatever. Like it's, a, it's just a league. Well, we move it's a little league. region. The 2017 Junior League Softball League World Series a violation of the Little League's policies regarding unsportsmanlike conduct, inappropriate use of social media, and ho- and and the high standard that Little League International holds for all its participants. See, that's a load of garbage. I mean, but you know, how, but but they gotta also ask how old are these kids? Like, you know, if, if they're kids, it, it doesn't matter. The point, the, the way I see it is, is that, I guess they're trying to do like a whole okay, moral effect. Thing. If you want to put rules in, yeah, 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 then. You better have to reinst- You have to instate these rules huh. everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. set a model, then set the model, and make sure you carry it through everything. No, you're right. You're right about that. That's true. There is no reason why social media should eliminate them from a game. Yeah, but it's also but a, a, but reading that though, it's saying that it's in there. It's in their contract or in their okay, but know, the in their rules. It's got to be. Do the coaches know this? I'm sure. Because if the coaches know, would have known this, but they're saying it's a violation of it. the league. So I guess that's it's a, a violation so guess... of the league policy. So it must be something that that was brought up. That's their escape clause. Okay. You know, it must be something that was brought up prior to this. Oh man! All right. But it's still the. It doesn't. Again, it does. It, you shouldn't. A team. That's in crazy. This, in this standing, all right. It's softball. Right, right. Right. Let's say you have ten players on the field. Okay. The team is 20 fucking kids. Yeah. 20 kids. 25 kids the most. So, I, so out of six of them, you're going to disqualify so the whole team? You disqualify the six kids and let the other 19 play. You bench the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. Okay. Yes. You're it's right about that. Instead of, instead, of, instead of basically uh, what you just said, you know, instead of basically disqualifying the whole team, you should just basically just bench those six and that's it. You know, give them a penalty. You know, penalty. You know, they I, got... I understand the whole social media thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, the sports are like but it's con- same, right? Though, if you look at it in major sports, it's nothing. They don't get on tap on the wrist. Yeah, but it, but see, Enzo said the same thing. It they have rules about social media, and it's it's because it's such a part of of life these days about everything. You know, what's so funny. You can, you know, you know, what's so funny. You I can't even... make it okay for one team to do something and not okay for another. I even heard that uh, even wrestling now they kind of they kind of a um, little bit tight on social media as well like certain things you can't do 
and Vince McMahon don't want you to post up. Listen, and I'm like, you can't even say anything about social media with like WWE. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, okay? yeah, you can't. Because half those Twitter accounts and Instagrams and Snapchat pages mm -hmm. are all controlled by the company. Yes. Yeah. There is not one ounce of shit that gets put on those pages without it being fucking perused first. Oh yeah. To make sure it's a clean image to go on there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. But like I said, you know, like it, it, it's crazy. But this is nuts. It, it, it's fucking stupid. It is. I mean, it is. Damn, you only got four viewers. What the fuck? I know. Right. It's been off because it, it says there's people commenting, but there's yes, other but there's people not in people there. watching. I don't there's know. There's people watching. I don't know how they hide themselves. They're ghosting. I do have one more article. Okay. So in I, case you, in case I have to play the tone then. In case you find it funny. Yeah, I'm gonna feel kind of bad because you know, like you know, like you have a new mail. There we go. Okay. So this is kind of a funny one because I thought it was great. The louder the monkey, the smaller its balls. <laughs> I thought this article was awesome. So let me get this so straight. If you don't have a swollen knuckle. Okay. All right. So in other words, they're talking. They're talking about. <laughs> It says, comparisons are constantly drawn between monkeys and humans, not least because of our shared evolutionary traits. It's so then it says, howler monkeys are similar in the fact that they are the loudest animals on Earth, capable of shouting at volumes up to 140 decibels. Castillo. Okay, so for the male howler monkeys, they use this to their advantage, using their roar to advertise their sexual fitness and attracting the female attention. Alpha male! But whereas their shouting may be something to be proud of, it comes with a downside. The louder the monkey, the smaller its balls. It's called the alpha male. That definitely no fit for me. Oh! I'm like, roar! <laughs> I am loud and I have huge testicles. So it just well, says, so do I. I mean, so but, you know, the that's anthropologist just... that did this said that they found that males with larger... Um, voices who can make lower pitch vocalizations have smaller testicles and live in single male groups with a harem of few females. Males with with louder voices live in multi male groups and have larger testicles. Damn right! If you like, yeah, I got I big got balls. balls I was gonna because <laughs> we got so the I biggest I balls of the whole. Um, I got. No, I'm gonna keep my comments to myself. This, this, this whole thing is fucking retarded. Two, we got two view. I keep seeing two viewers. It says two, now there's three, but but Steven's here, Enzo's here, it, it, Mike's it's, here. It's crazy. Sharon just signed on. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, like I said, fucking Facebook screwed up. I, we've got to fucking change everything. Because we've got the biggest balls oh, of them all. Oh, hey. I, hey, I, I would play that song, but I love that song. We take the money away when we can't. Yeah, play, I know. We play shit like that. For real? Sucks what no, do you mean TMI, Mike? Because Mike has small balls. Do you have small balls? He screams like a bitch and he has small testicles. Oh, belly. Then they're saying that the loudest on. ones in the group have the smallest testicles. I'm calling them out. That's all. Call it. Call it. Call it. Call them out. Call them out. Call them out. <laughs> Sharon says boo. Boo hoo. <laughs> you don't got to cry about that. Yeah, I know. I just wonder where all of you Enzo got I see no Aileen evil, speak no Sorry, evil, no, hear no Aileen evil. Aileen said she had to go. Yes. And uh, Stephen Wallman says four balls. Ball? Enzo said Mike is a Mike is a ball buster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> ain't that the truth? He's a Holy ball shit. buster. <laughs> I'm really pissed off. I lost that video. I God I can't it. find it either. Chicken titties. I can't remember what. Oh wait, no. I didn't say Boo it. is my hello. Oh, oh yeah, Sharon. Oh, here comments. we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's watching and he's calling you now. You're on the pipe bomb. Wrong person to call out. Put your best smaller <laughs> girls than me. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up? Nothing much. Lower that volume I'm in the bad. background. Oh, die. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm stepping out. Oh, die. Oh, What's going on, Ricky boys? How are you doing? Not much. We, we, we uh, have been going off since like 7 o'clock. Yep. Literally going okay. off. Oh. Hit people in the eye. Uh, my little comment is that article you guys were reading about before. Which one? I feel sorry for any guy who's with that dumb bitch. The rule she makes. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Holy yo, shit. exactly. Yo, really? yo, yo. When I when, when I heard the list, I'm like, are you fucking serious? I mean, I'm a crazy bastard myself, but fuck. 
fuck, man. I don't go with that. All far. right, so let me let me just present this. If we're sitting here and we're all talking about it, what if the roles were reversed? Yeah. And what if a guy made those rules? A guy made Would it be rules? more acceptable for a guy to make those rules to his girlfriend than it would be for a girl to make it for a guy? Certain, I agree certain. With that. With, if the couple is together, mm-hmm. certain, certain things, she no. Has rules and she should have rules. Absolutely. I totally agree. But, like, should a girl, oh, should back. it be, should a girl accept it more than a guy should? No. It certain certain things. It, 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 like I say, it depends. Because it sounds, when you say it that way, it almost sounds more, I don't want to say socially acceptable. For a woman to take uh, those roles, does no, that make no, but, sense? No, but sir, uh, that sir, a guy said he can go uh, through your phone at any point, or that he Mike, doesn't want you, you to go to, out with your girlfriend. I would, I would honestly like. Mike, you have to go with no. the background volume. Yeah, here. Uh, I'm actually in my room, dude. I'm my, I'm nowhere near. TV. Yeah, but I still. Yeah, I, yeah, I say the background my, too. My, you have to go with the volume on the video. Yeah. Wait, wait. Let's see. Yeah, I was I was hearing triple just now. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean like 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 certain things on that list. Like if you reverse the role, it wouldn't be cool. Don't do that again. I did the faces now. So when Melissa, when you were reading those things, yes, I'm thinking in my mind, wow, what the fuck, really? Yeah, no, I. Holy shit! Are we stuck? Oh, we're still going. No, we're still going. Oh, because it starts blank. Yeah, we're a little long time, bro. Yeah, but no, <laughs> I, mean, I mean... I mean, gosh, really. I mean, I mean, I heard, you know, having some rules around here and there, but that... Those are those are actually I mean, those are actually on, demand. I mean, those, really, listen, those are rules. Check your phone anytime she wants. My wife don't even check my phone. I don't even check her damn phone. Exactly. I don't think I've Holy ever... Shit. I don't think I've ever in five years looked at Ricky's phone once. I, I, I don't yeah, believe looking at nobody I, else's phone. It doesn't make any sense. The only phone I know someone who will be checked is Matt's phone because he gets ruined by his dad too much. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, 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 yeah, here we go. Oh, man. I could go as far as I can go. Well, it's just but, as bad. Uh, you know, it's just as bad when you fucking but, turn, turn around about getting daddy dick. Yeah, well, poor Matt. Just call me daddy, you Matt. Know, just call me daddy. Warm, you know... <laughs> Just to change the topic a little bit, when I was watching the replay of the Met game, he tells me, what am I doing? I said, I'm all watching the replay of the Met game. He goes, on the plane now? You fucking moron. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, Are wow, you serious? I mean, he asked you that, Mike? I, was, I, I, I don't know what to say to that one. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, my dear God. Me. Help me. I don't know what to say to that. I heard about the 24-hour store situation that? as well. Checking the phone. Fuck that, man. Ain't nobody trying to take, take my phone. I put a knife in their fucking throat. Fuck that shit. Try to test me. Fuck out of here, Yeah. My phone. Are you kidding me? Yeah. My phone. I don't know. I'm just being unbelievable. Since we have one and people keep yeah. commenting, so I don't this know. This is all fucked up. This is the silliest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost oh, followers. Oh, daddy. Is this the name? Is that it? Bye. Yeah, that's it. Yes. That's uh, it. Hey, 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 we got it. We got a video. All right, all right, Mike. Nice hearing from you also. Have a great night. Love you, you all. You and too. I will talk to you soon. Later. Later. Die. Hey. <laughs> he is a fat bastard. He's in, he's in a comment right I now. I have the video. It's, yeah. not, it's not as what I thought it was. But it's okay. Might have found it. It's okay. We're going we're gonna... to... I wish you could put it up on the, on the, on the big screen. Find it on the big screen. Well, no, that that takes too much work. That's what she said. <laughs> what in the holiness of <laughs> ah ah? What the hell? Oh oh! What, what did she did she just swing? Yeah. What's she swing? Her titties or arms? What the hell? Oh, I got a picture. Of her. What in the holiness of hell? What the whole oh? Like oh my god i see i remember seeing this video too but the thing about it is wh- wh- which one swung first the titties or the arms like for real like i think it was just like flat titty arm swinging that's just that's just not 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 cool all right well, guys a close-up video of this bitch all right guys listen it's fucking disgusting guys um all right i'm gonna spend the video well i don't know if rick gonna do it or one of us whatever but oh, you can go ahead all right, in, in the video, in the video, basically, because Rick's kind of, 
he left it for me to basically look at it. Son of a motherfucker. But um, what happened is a woman getting, I think, I was just getting arrested by the cop, getting arrested or, or, or like, you know, taken, she you know. She decided she was going to get bold. Get bold and go naked. Booty this and this booty this chick, This chick basically have not drag on titties. She have dragging titties. She, she's just butt naked, and she's, she's a fat black woman, which is kind of sad and kind of, you know, make, make you know, kind of kind of a strike of things. But she's basically out there, like, butt-ass naked. Like, I'm talking about a full birthday suit just coming out the womb with, like, titties just, like, and it just looks, you know, oh. <laughs> what? Ugh. No, he's, it's just, the it, it just, it just, it just hurts me to see that my, my eyes right now, I had to wear, you know, these glasses just now because... Well, be glad you weren't on those because you'd, be te- you'd be tearing afterwards. Uh, yeah, I, I, yo, like, I mean, it, it's so inappropriate. It, it hurts in a sense, too. You know, she could be somebody's mom, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, probably society got to her, like, no, fuck that shit. That bitch is crazy, okay? Fuck that. You know, her titties are down to here. Uh, yeah. And, you know, and like, and like, you know, she went to swing at the cop. I don't know if she swung with the titty or her arm. Like, the shit just... It just went, blah, 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 blah. Do you blah. lose everybody? I don't like, know. It's, it's gone. Open. You know what I'm saying? The shit is crazy. All right. Yeah. Let's call it quits. All right. So uh, we're in an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, an hour and 10 minutes. Everybody, we've, we've, we've killed everybody else. We've exceeded Yeah, they don't, they, don't, they don't love us. I guess because, you know, since me basically, you know, being a guest, you know, I feel kind of bad, you know. Oh, but we had more viewers than when normal. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. It must be all the cleavage. Yeah, I know. That's what it is. you know, Chris and Chrissy were watching this. I know. But anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we thank you for having Oliver on the phone for that, basically that whole episode. Yes, sir. And, uh. You know, he's down in the uh, country bumpkin woods and he can't watch video. Shooting possums. So he got to do audio. Um, Crow, thanks for coming down. Uh, he's, he's still part of the crew, no matter whether he's here or not, because he keeps an eye on the chat. Yes, sir. Uh, tributes. And we have a Sicilian in the middle. Helen will still be gone next week, so Jim might be back if he doesn't get arrested for, like, porn in Vegas or some crap. If you need me back again, I'll come down. You know, basically. Well, I'm not going to Vegas to bail his ass out, so. I'm not neither. It, Fuck that shit. Not I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, cutting the bars with my ninja sword. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. Run. No, I don't know if you'd want to do that. You might go with sword just, just a little. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Cause, uh, <sighs> so, I got arrested, so I get caught myself. On behalf of the crew. At the pipe bomb. We will catch you all on the flip side. Later.